and I must say, Jesus, Mother of God, those uh, arches are ridiculously wide. Um, What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Shane and welcome to another episode here on 5 Star Cars, the car channel where I just give my thoughts and opinions on what's going on in the supercar community and on today's episode we're going to be covering TJ Hunt, um, Neil Hartford and Savage Garage and a few others on top of that. Before we get into it guys, if you're new to the channel, if you like this kind of stuff, please do consider smashing the subscribe button, like squad, um, everything helps the bigger we get. Obviously, uh, we can get a project car sooner the better. And uh, also, guys, you can vote for your 2020 Car YouTuber of the Year in the link in the description below. I'm uh, running it up until January 1st when we will reveal the winner. Uh, so I made the list as best as I could. Uh, there was a few small channels in there and some of the biggest ones in there. So I just got to click on the link, two seconds, multiple vote, vote away. And uh, again, I'll reveal the winner at uh, top five on January 1st. Uh, so, as I said today guys, uh, we're basically um, going to be covering these channels. Uh, as well, one more thing actually, for my regular subscribers and the legends that come below in my videos, um, I finally got in one piece to my office. Uh, I'm going to give you a hint of it, it's just a bit of wall art, but I'm going to give you a hint of the roof, see if you can guess what it is, it'll come up here. Um, this arrived today, so I'm not going to reveal it. Uh, so my desk hopefully will be here, maybe. I'm hoping Wednesday, I'm not too sure. As soon as the desk gets here, i got to line everything up on this bloody wall and try and figure the fucking thing out. Uh, it's going to be a nightmare, but I will figure it out. And then I need suggestions from you what I should put on the desk, like a, a model of the car. Like, uh, what model of the car should I put on the desk? Like a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, a McLaren? Comment below and let me know for suggestions for that as well, guys. Please do. So, as I said, uh, we're going to jump off straight off the bat. Uh, we're going to start with TJ Hunt. So, TJ Hunt has finally um, gotten some good news. He went out to SOS Customs. They have finally started, I think they fitted most of the white, the Street Hunter White Arch kit for the C8. Um, I must say, Jesus, Mother of God, those uh, arches are ridiculously wide. Um, I, I can't believe, I couldn't get over, I saw them. So I'm just going to show you a quick clip of the arches from TJ Hunt so you can see what I'm talking about. The carbon, that whole like bottom lip right here would all be in carbon, but just seeing it like this is... I don't know, I don't, I don't think it needs a carbon lip, man. It, I think it looks good like I that. mean, it looks great. I'm definitely going to run the carbon lip, but it looks so much better than I thought it would. Holy shit, guys. Like, you could literally fit yourself in the inside of them. They're that big. They're ridiculous. I love it. It's so well put together. Um, like whoever, I don't know who designed the kit. It could have been TJ himself, but my God, the lines in it. Uh, I love the way they have the two kind of like boomerang things in the side of it. It's beautiful. Uh, it's such going to be such an epic kit when he puts it on his C8. Um, I really need. I, I mean, like if Amelia Harford doesn't get this kit for her car, I'd be shocked. Uh, I wonder how much these kits cost. I don't even know how much the Street Hunter kit costs for the the uh, Supra, but for the C8, I'm not too sure. Um, like the customization you do with, say, with it, like jump in the boomerang bits, as I call them, put them carbon fiber, um, a few other bits and pieces. But the, the wheels you're gonna be putting on it, I'm, I would say like, I would have to have a dish, maybe 13 or 14 inch dish on the back and maybe 10 inch, 10 inch dish on the front. It's just going to look insane. Um, I really like it, right? Just like it. Check out his video, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the new white arch kit of the 300 design for TJ on the C8. Next up, guys, is going to be um, what well, we know was Savage Garage. Savage Garage basically, Jimbo has been freed. He is out. Um, Randy paid bail. I wonder how much that bail was. I'd be very, very interested to know. Um, because, you know, Jim, Jimbo came out saying, never run from the cops, guys. You know, of course you never run from the cops. I, I feel like he did it for content and his cost Randy, you know, a, a bit of money. Um, but Randy's loaded, so it doesn't really matter to him. Uh, he's out, the rally is finished. I don't even know if he's, got, if he's getting his car back. Um, but look, it is what it is. 
I, I just feel like he definitely did it for content. Uh, but let me know in the comments below, guys, what, what you think of him getting out and how much do you think he paid Bale to get him out? Ah, I, I was going to take a guess. I don't know the, the system over in the States. Maybe $3,000, five, there, thereabouts. Not too sure. He had a lot of 50s in his hands, so between three and 5000 I think, anyway. Next up, guys, is going to be Plasti, or uh, Dip Your Car. <laughs> Why am I saying Plasti? Dip Your Car released a video um, a few days ago of, it's not the official blackest paint that you can get. It was just an experiment they were doing. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but I couldn't believe it. It literally, like, there was no light being soaked up by this thing at all. Um, it was insane the way it came out. Um, you know, it's just, imagine, I was just in my head thinking, imagine if you had most of, nearly the whole car blacked out and you were being chased by the cops and literally just pull down an alleyway and just turn everything off. You'll never be seen, like, it's, it's crazy um how how black it is it's just something that you see in a picture and you just see it going across the screen fair juice to dipper car and fancy over there for doing that for an experiment and um, i love dipper car uh, channel some of the colors they do are fucking amazing colors i'd love to do it for myself someday but i don't know if you can get that stuff sent to ireland um but let me know guys what you thought if you've seen this video um if not check it out on their channel uh, would you do it to your car? <laughs> I don't know if I would. <clears throat> I would probably do it as an experiment for maybe a show or something. But that would be about it really. At least it's peelable as well, so which is pretty sweet. But it definitely works. If you're any what way of a good sprayer for a show, it would be pretty cool. Maybe on an event or something. Uh, but let me know, guys, in the comments below. Next up um, is going to be uh, <laughs> Emilia Hartford. Now, I just saw the video a while ago. I had to bring it up. In fair juice to her for making this video um, for all the red hot blood males that thirst after her. I wouldn't say I'm one of them, but I will admit she is ridiculously pretty much good looking. Uh, but it was a funny video. I loved the way it was just like, you know, Santa's little helper. And uh, she basically goes off in a Santa's little helper uh, outfit. Um, and then goes to proceed to throw presence out the window I it was a good comedy sketch could put it um indeed I, I laughed at one or two bits of it all right uh just to own the Christmas spirit as it is um but fair juice there for doing it and uh really I'm not gonna complain I really did like the outfit as well you know I'm a single male I can say it who cares you know it's just like you know it's a good video <laughs> oh god shut, shut up um next up guys uh we're going to cover um, Flying Wheel. This is actually going to be the last person. So Flying Wheel. I don't know if you've seen these guys before, this guy before, but if you're looking for something to start binging on, it's not really a binge series yet, uh, I would highly suggest checking his channel out. Uh, he flips, he basically buys cars, fixes them up and flips them. Uh, he started a kind of a, like a series on his channel where he buys a car, his first car for $400, and he's trying to flip his way up to a Ferrari. And it's really interesting. I mean, like his latest video, guys, you gotta check it out. He started off really good, and his latest video, like the shit is at the fan, uh, it's gotten some really bad deals. Like it shows you that flipping cars isn't that easy. Um, it's just it's it's just very interesting to see how this is gonna go. How much he sells the cars for? How long? Will it, what cars does he buy and flip to get to the Ferrari? You got. I, I'm watching it closely because it's really cool to see something different uh, out there from other car YouTubers to see how how this has been done and what direction it's going to go in. Like, is he? How many cars are going to have to flip to get there? And the amount of problems he incurs going through these flips as well. Um, so I highly recommend checking out his channel and checking out that kind of a series if you're interested in that kind of stuff. I really like it. And that's what I try to do here, guys, is find uh, channels or videos that might be of interest to you that you might like and go over to that channel and check out because you might not have seen it before. So it, it's one of those things uh, where I think it's just pretty cool to check out. So uh, yeah, it's check it out. Let me know if you have checked out in the comments below and you know, what you thought of him flipping cars as well. Uh, just before we finish the video, guys, one other thing as well. Uh, as you know, I have reported on, um, reported, I've talked about organic before, and 
I have, uh, I, you know, I watch Ice Cream and, and I know what's going on with his channel and, you know, and the stuff he's been doing. But there was a channel that he's been, uh, that he was involved with that he basically kind of scammed. I'm not going to say who it is yet because I've reached out to that channel and they've agreed to come on my channel and us have like, like a talk show, have a chat about what happens with him and Organic about how it's all come down. So I know guys, it might not be, some of you might not be interested to, but a lot of you might be. So all I'm saying is I'm setting it up, I'm working on it. And when this video comes out, I, or I'm close to coming out, I will let you know. I'm sure it will be pretty good because uh, the guy is pretty nice and sure be a good conversation to have. And something that I aim towards on this channel is kind of more into a talk show kind of channel. So I'll keep you updated, I'll let you know how it goes. So that is today's video guys, thanks very much if you watched the end, like squad you know what to do, even better if you're new hit the subscribe button and uh, until the next episode guys stay safe, peace out and keep it lit.